Hi, my name is Candice, aka Picasso Baby, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own black love painting. If you are new here, welcome. If you've been here before, thank you so much for stopping back by. Make sure before we get started that you cut on your post notifications, like, comment, and subscribe. That way you don't miss the next tutorial. And then also make sure you leave down in the comments something else that you would like to paint with me. So today we're going to be working on a black love painting. Um, this painting was requested by Kiera Thomas. Hi Kiera, thank you so much. Um, so we're going to be working on this painting. And although it is a black love painting, you're going to be able to really create it and make it your own. All love is good love. So you can really make it your own and make it for the person that you love. Um, and yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So a few things I'm going to be working with, as always, I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. If you would like to use a different size canvas, it's completely up to you. I'm also going to be doing a little bit of drawing today. So I do have a permanent black marker, but if you would like to use like a pencil or something, it's completely up to you. You just need something that will show up on the white canvas. I want to make sure you have your water cup, your different sized acrylic brushes, napkins i also have my paint plate and i do use acrylic paint i use bright red phthalo blue mars black um burnt sienna chrome yellow and titanium white and today you know because we are doing a black love painting an all love painting um i am going to be you know setting the mood a little bit so if you're 21 and up Make sure you have yourself an adult beverage. I just have a little bit of red wine. And then let's take it a little further. Let's really get into some relaxing. I'm going to go ahead and get this candle going. And let's go ahead and get started. So I am going to start by simply drawing out my couple. Um, and again, you can really make this your own. I'm going to be drawing out a man and a woman. You can choose how you do yours. It's completely up to you. So go ahead and grab your marker or your pencil of choice. And I am going to start by drawing over here. What I'm going to be tre uh, trying to create are two people that are kissing, but they make the shape of a heart and their hair and bodies make the shape of a heart. So I want to make sure I'm starting a little bit in the middle. And I'm going to start with my woman. And what I want to do is kind of pull a line down for her forehead. And then I am going to go into a curve for her nose and pull a little line down like that. Now for the lips, I actually like to make a bubble like or a C like that first. And then I curve back. Also pull that in. And then I'm going to create another C and pull it up towards that. Or you can even just draw a sideways heart. From there, I'm going to also draw her chin. And I'm going to make it the line that's going back. Now that I have her in there like that, what I'm going to do to finish like her body part off, I am going to do almost like a little neckline. And then I'm just going to curve it up front like her chest area. So we have the front outline there, right? So now that I have the front like outline of her, I want to go in and get the front outline of the guy. Now, again, I want their mouths to touch. Like I want them to be kissing. So if you want to start from the mouth area, you definitely can. It probably will be a little bit easier for you. So what I'm going to do right from the middle here, I'm going to pull a line back. His lines don't have to curve as much. We don't definitely don't want to give him um, like he has injections in his lips. And then I'm going to curve over. So almost like another heart, just not as like deep on the back end. And same thing here. I'm going to bring it here. Now, up here, I am going to where her nose is. I'm not going to have just his nose there. I'm actually going to create a line for a little mustache. And I'm just going to stop it right there. Now, I am going to make a little curve for 
the nose, right? So I have that little curve for the nose, like she has this little curve for the nose here. And now I'm gonna go above her nose and I'm going up backwards to create his head area there and then his nose. And so now that I have that, what I want to go down into is like, um, I'm going to give him a beard. If you don't want a beard, you definitely don't have to do one. You can just do a regular chin. It's completely up to you. But I am going to create a beard. So for my beard, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a line down here. And then I'm going to curve that back. And from that line, going down again. And now I'm going to kind of make it a bit wavy. Because everything in that area is going to be his beard. Now... We have the front outlines of their face. So for him, the same way we gave her a uh, neck, I want to make sure I'm doing that for him as well. And I'm just going to take his down. Don't curve out too much. You want hers to be more voluptuous, his to be a little flatter. Um, and then I'm also going to give them both two curves here, like their arms, because this is the side view of them. I'm going to go back up and give them some facial details for him. Right in this kind of like the bridge of his nose area, I'm going to do a, just a curve and then I'm going to create another one right above it because they're kissing. Our eyes are closed, you know. Uh, if you want the eyes open, that's up to you, all right. Um, but I am going to close the eyes and I'm also going to give him an eyebrow. So I'm going to do a line and a little arch back and I'm going to do a line right above, a little arch back. Same thing for my girl. I'm going over and giving her an eye as well, but I am going to give her extra, like she has lashes, I'm going to give her a nicer arch, like she just got those brows done. And if it's not perfect like you want, just keep in mind we are going to be painting over this. So, now that I have this part, I want to go back and give both of them their ear and their, um, like, the rest of their hairline so for him i'm just going to give him a nice little shape up stop right there about around that eyebrow area i'm going to go down again and now i'm going to go back as if that is his ear and from there i'm just going to take it down all the way down just just straight all the way down same thing for my girl but only difference is i'm going to give her more of like kind of like a curly look going back it doesn't have to be like super straight lines and then i'm going to actually curve a little baby hair up in the front so you see how i kind of made that hook or that backwards j behind there that's where i'm going to make her ear and then i'm going to keep making those curves and now i'm going to do her back area right so now that we have that there and at any point you know always pause just to give yourself a little bit of extra time what i'm going to do to kind of shape it out into the heart is this is where i'm going to make them have um hair have afros she did want a black love painting so i am going to give them more natural hair so right up front i am going to make a heart shape coming from both sides you just wanted to kind of have that V at the top. Don't worry about those lines. You just want that V. And then I am going to go ahead and give him some curl area back here. Same thing for my girl. But you see how I kind of pulled it in? How it comes in at a bit of an angle. And even if you want to take it off more, if you want to make it a little bit bigger, completely up to you. But you want that V. And you want it to come in at a bit of an angle. So I'm going to go back in. And then once you have all of that, go ahead and put that marker or pencil up. Because now you have all of your drawing taken care of. So all I'm going to do now to get my um, to get my first step on with my paint, I want to get my background filled in. So for the background, I am going to be using a little bit of red and white if you want to use a different color it's completely up to you like if you just want just red by itself again completely up to you but i'm picking up red and white together and i'm just going to fill in those background areas so that little v then everything around their hair and around their back 
then I'm also going to get in this area here as well. So I'm just gonna work on filling that in and then we will move to the next step together. Right, so now that we have um, all of that completely filled in, what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna go ahead and get their skin tones filled in. So I'm gonna show you a few different skin tones and then you're gonna be able to paint each, each of your people the way um, that you want, the skin tone that you want. And also, you know, now that I think about it, I don't think I've done a story time for you all in a while. So I'm going to do a story time in just a few. And since this is a black love painting and they are kissing, I'm going to do a story time about my very first kiss. Um, so again, your background is on. I'm switching to more of a medium round brush for the skin tone. And again, I'm going to show you a few different ones. So again, if you like that burnt sienna, the brown exactly how it is you can use it as is if you want to go a bit lighter you can use just brown and white and it will give you a much lighter shade if you want to go more caramel you can mix up brown yellow and white and it will give you more of a caramel shade or if you want to go darker you just want to make sure when you if you do decide to go darker make sure there is no white on your brush because what I'm gonna do is I am going to mix up brown and a little bit of black and it's gonna give me more of just like a darker chocolate skin tone um, so again once you figure out which skin tone you want to use you can go ahead and mix those up and you can start to paint in the skin um, I'm not going to paint in her lips if you want her lips to be like the same skin tone as her if you want it to just be completely nude definitely paint her lips in as well otherwise just paint around her eyebrow lashes and lips for him I'm only painting around the eyebrow and the eye lash there um, but yeah let's go ahead and get started so as I'm thinking about my first kiss it's so funny um because so many weird and funny things happened when i was young 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 like had no business kissing anybody young um so it's funny because i think i was in y'all gonna call me fast in the in the comments but i think i was in like maybe it was sometime in elementary school. I'm not gonna go as, as low as first grade, even though I think it really was first grade, if I'm remembering correctly. Woo, <laughs> that's wild. Yeah, I think it was first grade, y'all, that's crazy. Um, And I was at school, right? So I called myself having this little boyfriend. And normally I make up fake names, but I'm not about to make up a fake name, name for this man because his real name was Jumo. It was Jumbo. Mm, 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 mm. So <laughs> we called ourselves being boyfriend and girlfriend, like little kids do. But somehow, my little boyfriend found a way to get me a gift. I can't remember if it was for like a holiday. I highly doubt it was for a holiday. I really think it was just something that he stole and he brought to school for me. Um, and that gift ended up being some lip gloss, right? So, you know, I ain't old, but I'm pretty old at this point. I'm 30. Um, so that was definitely in the, I was born in 91. So that was in the mid nineties. And it was like this lip gloss out made by Crayola, right? Super stinking cute. I'm going to add a picture in so you can see which one I had. Because he got me the cute red one, period. Never let nobody treat you like a yellow starburst. Always be red or pink. Um, so he got me some red Crayola lip gloss. It was so cute. I was so geeked. 
you know, I, I was that girl. And because he bought me that, I was like, oh, you know. Now he bought me that because I still to this day don't think that he bought that. I really think he stole it from somewhere. It might have been somebody else's. I don't know. It looked new. But, um, you know, I was like, well, I know I can't buy or steal this man nothing. So, I'm going to I'm gonna have to get him a little kiss. I'm going to have to let him see what this Crayola lip gloss is hitting on. Just how dumb of me. So, one... It was a couple days later. It wasn't the same day that he gave me the lip gloss. I do remember I took it home because eventually the lip gloss was taken from me anyways because it was like, my mom would be knowing what she bought me. Like, we wasn't super, super rich. And she wasn't like one of the parents that like just gave me money for dumb stuff. So like she knew what she bought me. And she knew that if I bought something, I bought it while I was with her. So again, my mama knew when I wasn't supposed to have something. <laughs> So eventually it definitely got taken but before it got taken i decided i was gonna take my lip gloss with me to school i was gonna grease these little young ass lips up and i was gonna give my little man a kiss period so i give him a kiss but it was in like the the coat area or closet area of the room like we didn't have like little we did have cubbies, but our cubbies was in front of an actual closet. So, like, as soon as you come into our classroom, you you bust that quick right. You right at the closet, and then it's a gap, and then it's the cubbies. So, of course, we in that gap, right? But the closet doesn't have a door. It's just like a long, long closet, no door. It just got the, the um, you know, the rack in there so you can hang your stuff up. So, we in there. And I'm, I'm trying to plant it on my mans, okay? Don't know what I'm doing with this little lip gloss. Tell me why my hair got caught on somebody's coat. Child. Talking about young, dumb, and embarrassed. <laughs> young, dumb, and embarrassed. That's that. If, if I had to name that that day or that chapter of my life, that's what it was called. It was called Young, Dumb, and Embarrassed. Um, yeah. I'm in there really, really trying to put it on him. Really trying to make sure that he tasted. And I'm pretty sure it tasted like cherry or something. I'm trying to make sure he got. He was just. His lips was just as red as mine. Right? No. No. My hair got caught. My, my hair got caught. And it was caught good in somebody's zipper. But of course. Now we have to figure out, one, I'm trying not to scream because it hurts. If you ever got your hair caught on anything, you know it hurt a little bit. So you got to hit that quick ouch. But you can't hit that quick ouch when you somewhere in a little cubby hole with a little boy. You can't do that. That's just, you can't do that. We would have been in, ooh, we would have been in trouble, trouble. So I'm trying to be quiet as he's trying to get this jacket off of my hair because we can't ask for help. Because what, what y'all doing back here? Why y'all why y'all back here? Like they they would have thought it was more than what it was when really we was just trying to share lip gloss. That's what I'ma call it. We was trying to share lip gloss. We would have got caught, I would have told her. I would have told my teacher, ma'am, I was trying to share lip gloss with him. That's it, that's all. It was nothing more. Um but yeah, so we we figured it out. Did I you did I lose a little chunk of hair? Yeah. Was it worth it? No, but I had some cute ass lip gloss for my boyfriend Jomo. So you know it is what it is. <laughs> it was it was very memorable. You know, so in a in a sense, it was worth it. <laughs> it was it was very much worth it because it was it was a funny, funny, funny memory. Um yeah. Let me know how y'all first kiss went. You know, don't be embarrassed. Drop it down in the comments. I done told y'all. Now y'all gotta tell me. Um, so, but as I'm painting this, as you can see how I painted the guy, I did do him a bit of a darker skin tone. And I did his lips a bit lighter. So I didn't add any black to his lips. I just did um, the solid brown by itself. If you want to go in and darken it up, you definitely can. It's up to you. Um, 
but I just left his lips just a little bit lighter. So now I am going to go into my girl and I am going to fill her in and I'm mixing up a little bit of a caramel tone for her. So I'm going in with my brown, white, and yellow. And again, I'm painting around her eyebrow, her lashes, her little edges, and her lips. The only thing I'm doing is like face area, neck, arms, chest, and this little piece of her back. So yeah, I'm gonna get this filled in and then we will move on to the next step together in just a few. So as I'm starting to finish filling her in, um, the very last thing that I'm going to do before I take a break, I'm just going to take a smaller brush, or if you were comfortable with the medium brush, you can definitely keep using that. And I'm going to fill her lips in with pink as well. If you want a different color, it's completely up to you. I'm just mixing up a little more red and white right on my plate, and then I'm going to fill her lips in. That way they have time to dry with everything else. So, once you get her lips filled in, um, again, we do want all of this to dry completely before we can go in and fill in any other details. So, just going to take a quick 10 15 minute break as always if you do not want to take a break you can always use a blow dryer to blow dry this but i suggest taking a break especially if you're painting with your bae grab your wine or your drink maybe a little snack um and then we will start back on this as soon as it's dry Alright, so now that we have everything dry, um, I am going to come back and start to fill in some little details in her face and also start to outline some things in black. So I'm going back to that same smaller brush that I used for her lips. And I'm going to be doing both of their eyebrows and their lashes in black. And remember, this is one of those times... Um, even though we drew them out first, if you do want to, you know, touch them up or kind of switch it up a little bit with the paint, you definitely can. Like for her eyebrow, I did make it just a little bit thicker. And then I'm going to go in and add some lashes. And when I'm adding her lashes, one thing that helps me get that point is I start from the inside of the lash, right? I use pressure and then I start to let up when I'm ready to finish it. And I really do, when they say the flick of the wrist, it really is the flick of the wrist. Um, because again, I press down with pressure. Once I'm ready to kind of end it, I let up really quickly. Same thing over here. I'm gonna get his eyebrow filled in. And I am going to get his lash filled in as well. And now I'm going to also, um, I'm going to outline both of their lips and I'm going to outline their arms and body. Everything else will be outlined when I fill in their hair. So you don't have to worry about that part right now. If you do want to outline everything though, just to like make sure you don't make any mistakes when you're painting next to them, you definitely can. nose 
same thing for him right above his mustache area i'm gonna pull in a little curve i'm gonna also outline his chest area i'm gonna pull back out the area i did for his arm and then i'm gonna go in for her and I am going to uh, um, outline her chin area with my smaller brush. I want to make sure I do it with my smaller brush because sometimes if you do it with the bigger brush, the line will start to get too big and it'll give you very much beard vibes. So, now I'm going to outline her chest area. Bringing back out that line for her arm. And then outlining her back as well. I'm not going to go back to like my bigger flat brush. I'm going to go back into more of a medium round brush. Um, I'm going to go into this medium round brush. And I'm going to start to get everything filled in. So their hair, um, his beard, filling all of that in. And again, two important things while you're doing this, you want to make sure that that V in the middle stays like that because that's the opening for your heart. And then for their afros, you want to make sure that it's kind of like a heart. Like it, I'm letting it hit the edge of the canvas and then I'm bringing those curls back in at an angle going towards their backs. Same thing here. Get a couple curves. Let it hit off, let it go off the edge of the canvas, and then bring it back in. So now I'm gonna go in and get everything painted with black. If you are doing their hair a different color, it's completely up to you. You can definitely do it as you wish. And then once we're done filling everything in, we'll move on to the next step together in a few. finishing touches some things that'll really pull it together so the first thing I want to add is I want to give them both a little piece of jewelry and these things are optional I'm taking a small brush and a little bit of white paint I put it on the back end of the brush and I am giving her a nice little earring I'm gonna give him a little dot for a nose ring and I'm gonna wipe that off what I'm also gonna do with some white paint on the front end I'm gonna do a little line on the top and bottom lip to like kind of look like um, a highlight, give it like a lip gloss feel. I am gonna also go into a little bit of black because I wanna do two things. I want to give her a few little moles. Um, if you don't want moles, it's completely up to you. Um, if you wanted to even give her like a necklace or give him a chain, you definitely could. I am going to also give him a little pick sticking out of his hair because black love. So I get four lines. I'm curving these two lines over, pulling these two up. circle at the top if you want to do like a actual full fist you definitely can that's super super dope i am just going to do like a little circle and i'm going to 
gonna leave a little circle open in, in the middle of it too. And I'm gonna take a little bit of white paint and add some highlights on the pick as well. So once you have all of that, if there are any other details you wanna add, you definitely can. I'm gonna go back into some more white and last thing I'm going to add is just my initials right in the corner. And once you have done that, you now have your very own Black Love painting. So again, thank you so much to Kiara Thomas for giving us this suggestion. I hope you all have a great time painting it. Um, and if you have any more suggestions, please leave them down in the comments. And don't forget to turn on those notifications. That way you do not miss the next tutorial. And as always, you can get all of these supplies from Amazon or any arts and crafts store. Or if you want the specific supplies that I use, you can always on order it from my paint and sip company, Paint Party. Um, everything will be listed down below. And happy painting, you all. See you in the next tutorial.